Hi legends, it's the English Civil here and today I am dressed like honestly I should be doing some crafting. I don't know why but whenever I throw on the tie-dye and also the dungarees I'm like I should be on the pottery throwdown or something like that which is very topical. What a little coinky dink that I'm dressed like this for this quick little mod overview that I'm going to be doing today which is of course the pottery wheel mod overview. I basically stumbled across this mod. I can't even remember how I found it. I think I might have been like browsing for CC or something like that recently on stream. And I was like, oh my word, I didn't realize that there was a pottery mod for The Sims 4. Also, apologies to console players and other players who can't actually download custom content and mods. I know these videos can be annoying. I try and make it clear when I'm making a video like this that it is custom content. So this mod is available over on mod the sims it's called the functional pottery wheel and it is made by marai mayanaka i will actually link this down below it's base game compatible so you don't need any specific packs to play it it says that it was updated last in 2021 it still works i have tested this out before obviously sitting down to record this video adds a new crafting station complete with a 10 level skill several custom buffs and a new craftable pottery. You lot know that I am a sucker when it comes to new hobbies, new crafting, new creative outlets for my sims. There's actually two files so you need to download the functional pottery wheel. Obviously that's what's going to give you the gameplay to all of this and then you can actually add the sim preference as well so you can go in to create a sim and decide whether your sims like pottery or not. You can sell to a pottery museum, sell to a private collector, enable an emotional aura, view it, view the inspired work. You can also add it to Plopsy and sell it on there. These are some of the things that you can make. You've obviously got some skill books. These are the plates that you can create. You got some vases, which are sick, little teapot. I did, of course, plop it into my mods folder and then I have my little sim self over here. There isn't actually like a lifetime aspiration tied to pottery. I just gave her the master maker that came with eco lifestyle so don't be thinking that there is one to do with like being a great potter unfortunately there isn't however like I said if you do go to likes and dislikes preferences then go to activity and then scroll down and making sure my big head isn't in the way you know how this five head goes sometimes she gets in the way of everything perfect space for me to promote my twitch channel twitch.tv slash english summer if you haven't yet followed me over there when I put it on Instagram but you know a lot of real estate so you have this pottery icon it comes with a custom icon from the mod you can choose to have your sim like it or dislike it of course my little sim self likes it because I want to make the most out of this short time that I have to show off this mod and then if we hop into build mode I'm fairly sure this will be like listed under activities I usually when I'm like looking for mod specific stuff I will actually just like type it into the search bar but yes it is under activities it says pottery wheel it costs 750 simoleons whether you like crafting using it as a relaxing escape from reality or a professional potter every sim should have a handy and respectable pottery wheel and of course it gives a shout out to Marai who actually has a patreon as well I will actually leave both of their links down below it comes in like multiple different colors you've got like a green one. Oh heck yeah we are gonna be using the green one you best believe it you got what looks to be like a little knife a little scalpel some like cracked bowls over here and then you've obviously got the pottery wheel some like vases jugs and this lump of clay on the side so let's get into live mode we are going to craft she is currently just a level one when it comes to pottery so all we can really make right now are plates. Plates in wood, pottery and metal go back into antiquity in many cultures. So let's go for that sea blue plate. I will say there isn't like a specific custom animation. I don't know if this is gonna like put some of you off this mod. For me personally, it's not going to. You get this like slab of what looks like clay.
play. However, it's basically taking the animation that we have from the woodworking table. May she RIP, honestly, the fact that she's never been updated still infuriates me. So I'm taking this as the woodworking update that I never got. So you kind of like hack away with this knife when it comes to the clay and your sim is like thinking about all of these things, things that you can do to perfect it. It's also like not 100% lined up on the wheel. Like this doesn't spin or anything, but I thought I would point it out just in case that wasn't actually for you. And then we got this little plate, which we can actually put out. I don't think we can like use it or anything, but it goes into our inventory and you get this little notification that says the time spent crafting pottery has paid off well. Check your Sims inventory. So we can view our inspired work. So you can't actually put your own emotional aura on this. I'm wondering if it goes off what you were feeling when you were making it. Although I don't know if she was like feeling inspired while she was making it. I wasn't really paying attention. You can view it. You can create a copy, enable that inspired emotional aura. You can list it on Plopsy. I'm fairly sure that like giving it to a museum or selling it off probably comes later on into the skill. This thoughtful artistic activity can open up the mind and relieve any sim of outside worries. And then we also got this notification that says that your new pottery skill will allow you to craft different items. The items can be displayed in your house or sold for extra cash. The road to creating pottery masterpieces takes some time, but the higher the skill level, the better the items. Pottery is the process and the products of forming vessels and other objects with clay and other ceramic materials. By mastering the skill, your sims can create bigger and more complex potteries like um amphorae? I'm so sorry. Kylix and teapots. You know what? I thought I knew everything there was to know about pottery. I've actually never done like pottery. I've like, you know, done the little like clay hedgehog that I feel like every reception class in the UK does. I've also, I think, tried to spin once when I was little. I think my parents took me to a garden center and I like made a mug. I've painted pottery an awful lot, but as an adult who knew what they were doing. Who am I kidding? I absolutely would not know what I was doing when it came to spinning pottery. I've never done it. I would like to do it though. I really want to get into ring making this year. <gasps> I reached level two. I can now create more diverse plates in different shapes, forms, and colors. I love pottery. I'm in my element and because I'm doing something I prefer, I get an increase fun gain. Honestly, I would not trust myself with that knife. I'm gonna throw it out there. Tam, I'm so impressive. Everything is is excellent. You're saying that I painted this in like glaze? <laughs> I'm just making myself feel better. Pottery lover. The more I create, the more I want to know everything about pottery. Okay, you know what? That's very accurate. If I'm gonna get myself into a new skill or a new hobby, you best believe that I'm gonna be researching it for days to come. Oh, this one has focused. So I think because I was feeling focused when I started working on it, that actually changes the emotional aura. So it kind of depends what your sim is feeling. I think when you either start or finish it. Also a great way to kill Sims off using a emotional aura if you fancy it like embarrassment or anger. Nudge nudge wink wink. Ooh the normal cheats work. So it's stats dot set skill level major pottery three. Level three I feel more comfortable now able to create simple shaped cups. For doing well in your craft maybe you should try and create more complicated designs like small vases. Five, I can create some ceramic souvenirs. Jesus, try saying that six times. Level six, craft larger size vases. Big boobs. Seven, craft Kylix at the pottery wheel and can now sell to the pottery museum. I am gonna be raking it in. Oh my God, if only I could do these cheats in real life though. Level eight allows you to craft amphoras and lekithos. I'm fairly sure this is amphorous. I did try to Google them. I think this is Lakaithos. I am so sorry. This one has like multiple pronunciations. I will hold my hands up and say I was not expecting to be learning Greek in this video. I took Latin in school. Safe to say I clearly no longer have any of those language skills. Level nine, you can actually start creating the Greek jugs. And then level 10 can now create functional ceramics like teapots and perfumes and can mentor other sims 
hands in pottery. Wait, I want to actually see if they are functional. You better be running back up those stairs to your apartment, girly. I am gagging for some tea. Sell to a private collector. 687. Brew pot of. Okay, this object cannot be used when on the ground. Wait, wait, wait. This is fabulous. This might just use the animation for like the Jonah, why did you break the coffee pot? The little tea brewer that we have in base game. But again, I don't even care if that is the case. Brew pot of um let's go for a pitch black tea okay there we go she's like tipping the tea leaves in yep add that flavor love to see it okay it looks like it's brewing it's got a little bit of steam coming out oh it beeped uh she said she can't use it let's grab a drink damn is this not gonna work does it have to be facing a certain way it says that it's facing the right way yeah it doesn't look like i can actually interact with it to like grab it which is slightly annoying so that's the only thing that really hasn't worked when it comes to this but let's also craft one of those perfumes put on perfume yeah let's try it <gasps> she's gonna spritz it i don't think that's actually using no it's not like fully using the bottle that it came with it's just using like probably a jungle adventure <laughs> spray or something like that <gasps> little miracle from wearing a perfume i wish wearing a perfume in real life felt like a little miracle do you know the fragrance that touches your heart because i think i just found mine that's also one of my things that i want to do this year i want to find like my fragrance or like a bunch of fragrances that like actually smell good on me i'm 28 years old now i feel like i need to find the one when it comes to a fragrance that's how you know you're an adult with your life together who knew that this mod was gonna lead me to discover myself and my wants for 2023 but i hope you all enjoyed this little overview of the pottery wheel mod as i said it will be linked down below i am actually kind of gutted that that the teapot didn't work. I don't know if that's just in my game. I can't see it being just my game though with like having a rooting issue to get to it. Mariah, thank you so much for your work. This is so much fun. I can see it being like a staple in my game. Let me know your thoughts down below. We did actually get an announcement yesterday that the two new kits are coming out tomorrow. So either tomorrow or Friday, I will have an overview of both of those kits in the same video. So subscribe if you aren't already. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Hit that notification bell if you want to be updated on the rest of my videos, be it Sims 4 Let's Plays, news items, pack overviews. Obviously, we also have an expansion pack coming out this quarter. So make sure you hit that bell if you do want to be notified whenever I upload. If there's any specific like mods, custom content that you want me to check out here on my channel, please also let me know in the comments down below because this year I really want to give like more shout outs to to custom content and mod creators because I really do think that they are the backbone of the community. I think they're feckin' wonderful and I think we all need to continuously show them some love. But thank you all so much for tuning in and I will speak to you all in my next one. Bye now.